The Ant and the Grasshopper. Oh, the sun, the breeze, mm, and grass. How can anybody not enjoy this? <laughs> Summer is here with its grass and fruits and more grass. Mm. This is Ragu. Ragu is a grasshopper who loves to sing and to play and to do nothing but lie around. He loves summer and the green grass. Ragu is a happy grasshopper. Oh, how I love the summer! The fresh smell of grass, the fruits, the walking fruits. Wait, what? Why is the fruit walking? Ragu was scared. He cautiously crept towards the walking fruit. Fruit? T -t Tell me, who you are? A, a ghost? <laughs> Magic? The fruit kept coming towards Ragu, slowly sliding against the green ground. Then suddenly, help! Help! The fruit is running towards me! Help! The fruit is attacking me! <sighs> Wait, what is that noise? As Ragu listened closely, he heard some voices giggling. And there it was, a dozen ants right under the fruit. I wasn't afraid. Don't you know, I am a grasshopper. I am supposed to be running and hopping. <laughs> oh, yes, Mr. Ragu. Are you sure the fruit didn't scare you? <laughs> oh, please. Hopping is my job, you silly ants. Just like your job is to get a dozen ants just to carry one fruit. <laughs> I am big and mighty. I don't need anybody's assistance to carry a fruit. Do you tiny ones need help to finish the fruit? Very funny, Ragu. But we are not carrying this fruit to eat. We are collecting. Look there. And collecting they were. As the ant pointed out, Ragu saw more than a dozen ants walking in lines towards a big hole in the ground. They carried tomatoes, berries, corn, and also baby carrots. Every ant would drop some food in the hole and return to help others. The lines of food were endless. Ragu was now curious. What are you all doing? Why are you dropping the food in the ground? Have the fruits gone bad? Oh, no, not at all. We are storing food. Soon the summer will be gone and winter will be upon us. The fruits and leaves will be gone. We have to be prepared for that or else we will starve. Ragu, you must store food too. All these fruits and the green grass will be gone soon. Oh, you are all so tiny. That's why you need a whole season to collect and store food. I will do it in a matter of days. Till then, I will enjoy the breeze and laze around the river. The ants knew that Ragu is making a mistake. But they also knew that Ragu will not listen to them. They wished him well and carried on with their work. What silly creatures. They are missing out on the season. Winter doesn't end the world. Surely we won't die. There will definitely be something to eat. Why worry about tomorrow? Ragu paid no attention to the ant's advice. He hopped and skipped the whole day and chewed on the fresh grass. He lazed on the river and whistled carelessly. Weeks passed and Ragu grew fatter. One day, as he was lying on the thick layer of grass, he saw a long line of ants carrying twigs and leaves. What is this? 
Where are you taking these leaves and twigs? We are taking this to keep us comfortable during the winter. You must collect two, Ragu. Winter will be very cold. <laughs> Winters are always cold, you silly. You are so many. That's why you have to work so hard. I am just me. I will surely find something. The ant knew that Ragu will not listen to her. She turned to leave. Just then... Oh, ouch! My leg! Oh! What happened? Are you okay? Oh, my leg hurts. I can't walk now. Oh, come. We will take you home. No, home is far away now. And you all have twigs to carry. That's fine. You can sit on my back and I will fly you to your home. Oh, really? You will do that? Oh, why not? Come on now! Ragu flew away with the ant on his back. The ant had never felt so happy. She saw the green lands, the waterfalls, and the rivers. She felt the breeze on her face. As they reached home, Ragu saw at least a hundred ants bringing leaves and throwing them into a big hole. Ragu was surprised. He sat down and the baby ant slid down his back. Mwah! Thank you, Mr. Ragu. Uh, okay, baby ant. Hope you enjoyed your ride. Off you go. Take care of your leg. Hello, Ragu. Have you begun your collection of food and leaves? Where will you live in the winter? Oh, I am big and mighty. I will find something when the winter comes. Why worry about tomorrow? Days passed and the summer was ready to leave. Trees started to shed their leaves and grass had begun to change its color. And Ragu was growing fatter each day. He lazed around the water on a dry leaf, looking at the bright sky, eating the little green leaves that were left. I don't see any ants anymore. Maybe they finally took my advice and decided to enjoy the season. Whatever's left of it anyway. They have missed out on a lot. And then winter came. Snow had covered the whole ground. Gone were the green grass and the ripe fruits. Ragu searched and searched for a single green leaf, but could not find any. He searched for a warm place but snow had built layers and layers upon the warm ground. Weeks passed and Ragu grew thinner and weaker with each day. He had no shelter and no food. He then remembered that the ants had taken a lot of food and twigs under the ground. He found the place and knocked on their door. <gasps> can, can anybody hear me? What happened to you? It's cold out here. I'm hungry. Do you have any shelter and food for me? Oh, but winters are always cold, you silly. Aren't you the one who had laughed at me once and said this? You were the one who kept saying, why worry about tomorrow? What happened now? I, I understand my mistake. I, I should have prepared for winter. Please. Give me some food. Listening to all the commotion, the queen and other ants came out of the hole. We all have our share of the food. Even if we give you some food, you cannot come down here and live. This place is not big enough. But I... Oh, what happened to you? Ragu had collapsed on the ground with a thud. Oh no, we have to save him. He will starve. After all, he did help me once when I had injured my leg. The ant narrated the incident to the queen. She explained how Ragu had helped her when she was a baby. Hmm. Bring out some leaves and wrap him up. Let's quickly build a small house for him from the twigs we have. It will keep him warm. We have enough food. We can share it with him. 
The ants wrapped up Ragu in some leaves to keep him warm. They brilliantly built a house from twigs and carried Ragu inside it. They fed him hot soup and some fruits. Soon, Ragu was back on his feet. Thank you, your highness. Thank you for saving me. I owe you my life. You are a nice insect, Ragu. You helped a member of my group. We will help you for this winter. But remember, always be prepared for the future. I know it now, your highness. You should not worry, but always be prepared for tomorrow. Never be lazy. <laughs> <laughs>